Hello, welcome to Energy First Golf. In this video, I want to show you the tutorials to how to use our simulations and simulators and software. We have two software, SkyTrack and E6. So first, our computer will be on and you will see the SkyTrack icon. And then we will turn on the SkyTrack via a button here. The simulator will be on. And then we will come over here click on this icon and we'll also show you the usage and the benefit of the software now the software is logging in it might take a couple seconds and also if you come here all the time we welcome you come here all the time you can register with SkyTrack have an account like Roy here and you can transfer the data on a personal usage through the SkyTrack account all right, let's get started. So first, we'll click on Energy First, and everything's ready, in network mode. As you can see here, here's the main menu. We got practice, challenge, game improvement. First, let's go to practice. When you go to practice, there are many areas you can work on your game. This is the most basic. You can see you have total distance, carry, average total, based on how many shots you had. And then you have launch angle, backspin, ball speed, and you can also pick the club you want to work on. As you can see, we have many, many options here. Right? Now we will go to club matrix and custom bag later. So club head speed, side spin, side angle very basic information which is very important to know your game and work on your game now as you can see right now if I go to a practice area which I will click right here a practice area and you can work on attacking the green or aiming at the green use different sizes easy medium hard easy obviously will have a bigger area of a target medium different sizes, different shape, hard, the hardest would be 15 by 10 yards. Also, you can see those different sizes. Also, you can pick the distance that you wish to practice. The shortest distance for the practice will be 10 yards. And then you can go all the way to 300 yards. And I believe that's plenty of options for you. So let's take a look at it. If I go to a 30 yards, you can be very exact and hard green will apply that once you apply that you can see there is a target there and from here you will see the screen will give you 30 yards 9 hard and percentage means when you hit those shots what is your percentage getting close onto the green okay which is very helpful. 33 yards. Now, because the 30 yard is to the flag, the green area is 15 by 10. So now I hit 33 yards, I hit the green. So that's how you practice. Now you can see the percentage of accuracy is 50 50 because I hit two shots. All right, so let's move on to the next area. We have mentioned that you can change your clubs. Okay, then we will go to the fun part. We can exit session. Now, with the main menu again, we can go to challenge. We can do closest to the pin. You can choose single players, multiplayers, also event. Let's go to multiplayers. Player one, ends your first. Player two, guess two. Of course, you can have your name if you choose to log into your SkyTrack account. Here's the settings, left hand, right hand. Here is also shot per round for the practice, for the contest. Conserved, um, consecutive, alternate, top score, cumulative. And obviously you can pick the distance. All right, so this is the fun part. Let's exit. Now, 
Here is something really can help you to understand your game, really your equipment and your bag. The game improvement. You can see right now, we click the game improvement, we have bag mapping, skills assessment, wedge matrix. First, let's go to wedge matrix. As you can see, there's a welcome message. We can begin. Most people will have three wedge system or four wedge system. You can select your clubs, set the options, and work on your distance by the swing types. Pitch, half swing, three-quarter swing, and a full swing. Right? This is the wedge matrix. This option purely works on your wedges. And let's exit. Now we can go to Now we can go to game improvement again, skills assessment. Now with the skills assessment settings, as you can see, you can set your yardages and set your clubs. Okay. And you can set number, numbers of target, shots per target, best shot selected. So that will get you a comfortable understanding what distance for which club that you can hit and swing when you go play on the golf course. All right, let's exit. We're going to go to game improvement again. This time, we're going to access back mapping. This is also a very important asset for you to work on your game and understand your equipment and your specifications. As you can see, number of clubs. Not everyone has 14 clubs. The number of clubs does not include in your putter. So this is 13. And you can set shots per club, define which clubs. For example, number one club could be a 64 degrees, and then so far, so on, 58 degrees. And you can go all the way up to your driver. And this is how you map your golf set. Now, let me show you the result of that. We're going to minimize this. Here's a result of a young student of mine. She is, um, I believe, 12 years old. And we did this bag mapping the other day. January 17, 2023. We have 10 pages of data. And you can have this data for your study and to benefit your study of your own game. You can see three wood, six iron, pitching wedge, nine iron, seven iron, eight iron, driver. So all this information is valuable to you and for you to understand how you play this game. How do you play golf? and understand your club setting. Here we want to show you our E6 program where it's a simulation golf. You can play 18 holes. We have about 50 different courses. First, let's get started. Click on Here's the main menu. You can play golf, practice, paint seeker games, games, events. Let's go to play golf. We click on play, go play golf. You can add guess edit your name name T box level beginner or advanced handiness left or right your handicap and next you can play games like stroke play stable forward modify stable forward performance team stroke so far so on you can play scramble or best ball. And here's all, all the courses, the options for golf, golf courses. Let's go pick one. Let's go this one. Then you can select codes or you have game options or settings. Right? Let's tee off. And if you're here, you can absolutely work on this on your own. You can pick what you want to aim, club selection, and here's all the options of check out the, the layout of the hole. Let's do a flight over. This is the flight over for this particular hole. If you want to know the layout of the course.
There you go. Now again, there's many options you can choose from when you play the game. This also gives you distance, carry, launch, ball speed, backspin, side spin, deviation, direction, dispersion. All right. Let's go to practice. If you want to practice with E6 software, you can also do so. Enter your name and edit and go to practice. You have driver range, chip and putt. We can go to chip and putt. You have all these options here for you to work on your game, which you also have with Skytrack. It's just a different software. Now we can also go to driving range. As you can see, driving range, we have flat range, large targets, sharp shape, small targets, long drive range. You have all these options. Now we can also go to games. Games is very similar to Skytrack. You can do almost the exact same thing. Closest to the pin, long drive, long drive world series darts all right so i believe that's all you really need to know when you come to energy first golf with skytrack and e6 hope you understand how to use the software if you have any questions please feel free to ask 